If you have tried to begin studying for the writing section of the SAT, but have no idea where to start, I recommend Transitions. Hi, my name is Haley with Principia Tutors and Consultants. In today's video, we'll discuss the three types of transitions in the writing section of the SAT. First, I'll describe why we should start here. Then I'll define the three types of SAT transition words. After describing SAT transition words in detail, we'll discuss some strategy recommendations for transition questions. And finally, we'll do some practice based on those strategy recommendations. So first, let's discuss why should we start here? While transitions are one of the most common question types you'll encounter in the writing section of the SAT, and transition questions are some of the easier logic questions in the writing section, meaning they'll test your ability to understand the meaning of two ideas in any given context. There are three types of transition words. They are contradictors, continuers, and cause and effect words. Now let's discuss continuers. Continuers expand on the thought in the sentence or the statement prior. So our example says, there are several types of continuers. For instance, continuers can add information, provide examples, define, emphasize, compare, or even provide a sequence of events. We can see that our transition word is for instance, which tells us that the first thought there are several types of continuer, continuers will expand. And we get an expansion on that thought. We have the list of different types. Next, let's discuss contradictors. Contradictors contrast with the previous statement and tell us that both ideas will be different. Our example says, I am an excellent math student and feel confident solving problems on the SAT, but I do not feel fully prepared for the writing section. The word but tells us that both ideas will be different. The first statement in indicates confidence with the SAT. And the second says the student doesn't feel fully prepared, so the ideas are slightly different. Finally, let's discuss cause and effect words. Cause and effect transition words tell us that the second statement is a result of the first. Our example says, I was unsure of how to prepare for the writing section of the SAT. Thus, I researched helpful videos on the various types. Thus is our transition word, and it tells us that the research on helpful videos is a result of being unsure on how to prepare. Now let's discuss some strategies. The first thing I recommend for students to do is go ahead and cross out that original transition word with your pencil or your pen tool. This also helps you read the sentence and contextual information without creating any bias toward a particular transition word. And by crossing it out, you can now read the sentence and question its logic. We want to determine what part one and part two say. After determining that difference, we always want to ask ourselves this question before reviewing answer choices. Are the ideas similar or are they different? If they are similar, you can eliminate all contradictors from the answer choices. But if they are different, you can eliminate all cause and effect or continuers. These words can appear between two sentences or in the middle of a sentence, but I recommend the same strategy for both. You might also need to review the sentence prior for contextual information. And as a disclaimer, you may not like the sound of the correct transition word, but if the logic matches the selected word, you can go ahead and move on to the next question. Let's go ahead and work through an example. This question says, women have contributed to some of the most important advancements in technology today. Hedy Lamarr is most well known for her time as a golden age Hollywood star. In fact, many do not know that she was a brilliant inventor who patented frequency hopping communication systems. Lamar's invention provides the basis for present technologies such as GPS and Bluetooth. Our answer choices are no change, however, thus, or in other words. In fact is our transition word. Let's first cross it out. Now let's describe the ideas on both sides of that transition word. The sentence Hedy Lamar is most well known for her time as a golden age Hollywood star introduces what she is most commonly known as. And then the second idea describes an opposing idea, that she was actually a brilliant inventor who made important contributions to the world of science and technology. Because these ideas are different, we can go ahead and eliminate all continuers, which include in fact or no change, and in other words, which further describes. We can also eliminate all continuers and cause and effect. So thus would be our cause and effect word, which would set up 
a consequential action. This process of elimination tells us the answer will be B, however. Now I will give you a question to practice with. Please go ahead and pause the video. When you complete the problem, come back to the video for the solution. Our question asks, butterflies migrate to forests where the temperature is low enough to hibernate, but not enough to freeze. On the west coast, the effects of climate change have led to unusual temperatures. For example, monarch butterfly populations have significantly dropped. Our answer choices are no change, in fact, on the other hand, and as a result. For example, as our transition word between two sentences. First, let's go ahead and cross out that word. Next, we can identify the relationship between both sentences. The sentence on the west coast, the effects of climate change have led to unusual temperatures, introduces the idea that unexpected weather has occurred. And then the following sentence, monarch butterfly populations have significantly dropped, is a result of the first. Because the ideas are similar, we can go ahead and eliminate all contradictors, which includes answer choice C on the other hand. Now we need to determine the difference between A, B, and D. A and B are both continuers, meaning they expand on the thought prior. However, D shows a consequence of the result of the first sentence. So D would be our answer choice. Now let's discuss what we reviewed today. Remember, we want to first cross out the original transition word to avoid any bias towards a particular transition word. Next, we want to determine what both sentences or ideas in front of or after the transition words say. We also want to ask ourselves, are the ideas similar or are they different? If the ideas are similar, we can eliminate all contradictors. If they are different, we can eliminate all continuers and cause and effect words. Thank you for watching today's video and good luck on your SAT prep journey.